doing a tutorial on how to make a basic 3D intro with 3DS Max, After Effects and Sony Vegas. So there are the three programs you need and first off we're going to start off in 3DS Max. And f to start off in 3DS Max you want to grab your plane here under your standard primitives. You want to drag it on and then you want to get your scale tool up here and then just make it bigger so it fills the whole scale. Whoa, 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 whoa. didn't want that to happen. Hang on. Alright, yeah, so it fills the whole screen. And then um then you wanna go to the second tab no you don't. You wanna go to extended primitives. No you don't. Hang on, hang on, I'll it. These are all not working. So you got these tabs there, you click on shapes, text, and I'm just gonna write um um just put dark arts. HD. I should know the Star Cards, Star Cards 6 cool. And then uh, I'll get my favourite text ever, Bebas. And then you just got to whack it on. And you, you've got your text here. And what you want to do is you want to get your rotate tool and you want to rotate it up to 90 degrees. And there you go. Well, around 90 degrees, close as you can. And rotate it around so it's like that. Then to scale it down and stuff you want to go to your modify you want to click your text click your text right you click text and then you just scale it down and then you can move it about and it's all fine and dandy so I'll have my text like that then to make it 3D um, go to your modify tab again which is one next to create this one here and then you want to go click on the little um, drop down list and go on bevel and then you've got all of these which control this controls how far out it goes, this controls how thick it goes um, you can click level 2, this can it sets like another level on it and stuff, I don't, I don't like that very, and level 3 you've got it going out even further and yeah you don't want to do mess around that too much because it does fuck up so I'm just going to click off level 3, I'm just going to keep it basic and um, just stick with this for now. Um, that looks nice. And then you've got your text here then. You then want to go to your material tab by clicking M. Um, get a nice dark floor colour, whack up the spec specular level and then have your glossiness at about 34 and your specular level about 91. Maybe, um, maybe make it a bit brighter so you can see the shadows when we put them on. So you've got that there and then you want to make another material so click on the next box next to it. I'm not going to do anything special for the material, I'm just going to make it a dark black with quite high spec level and glossiness so it gives it a nice shiny effect. So there you go, I'm just going to render this for you now. You've got that so we've got the 3D text and you've got the plane and now what we're going to do is we're going to create a light Hang on. right what we're going to do is we're going to go to create light standard omni and you want to position it so it's if I get my oh god um, if I get here if you go on your left thing over here Oops, I didn't want by accident. If you go on your left thing over here and you can add one which way is the text facing? Um Oh dear. I just need to set up my camera angle on this first. And you wanna go to your front. Uh zoom in a bit. Yeah, make sure your things at the front, otherwise your left view will be all screwed up. So there you go. I got it at the front now. Then you want to go to, oh, then you want to go to create light standard omni, and then you want to put it in. Hang on. I'm gonna undo that. Uh, which one is my text facing? If I just put it. Maybe a 
是别人的。啊 ，top top， use your top camera， and that'll be a lot easier. So what you want to do is you want to go here. You want to grab this tool so you can move it about a bit, and you want to scroll down. And yeah, that will happen sometimes. Right, so if I move this down, right, okay, I got it, I got it now, guys, I got it now. I'm gonna create light standard omni, and then you wanna whack it like in front of it. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna grab our light in the left thing here and just bring it up, so we got a good angle on your text. Um, to get the best shadows, I find um, you got well. What you want to do to make a shadow first is modify Omni. Well, you want to have your Omni like selected, then go on modify tab. Then you want to click on shadow. Gen no, you want general perimeters, and you want to click on ad area shadows. This should give you a really realistic shadow, and it should look really nice. So if we preview this now. We got a nice shadow behind it, and it looks really nice and realistic. Maybe we could um, position this light a bit better. Um, we'll preview that now. There we go, a lot nicer. Got a nice sh shadow behind it. It looks really realistic. You got a nice back um, fall off at the end, and it looks really good. So basically, what we're going to do now is we're going to click on our first screen and press Control C. This will make um, give us a camera. With our camera, we're gonna go on set key, and we're gonna think we will. We'll keep it at that for now. No, we won't. Um, we'll zoom in. So if we zoom in like this, this is a, this is just very basic. Set a keyframe, then we'll go out to about 50. Hang on, hang on. Right, if we zoom in here. Come on. Alright. Sorry about this. If we move we have loads of we can do more Oh shit. Separate turn. Look at the guys. if we select this and put it down. Cameras can get quite tricky sometimes, so Got to be careful of that. So if we have it like this, I'm going to set keyframe there, and then we're going to go to about. You can go to 50 or 100, but for just tutorial sake, I'm going to do this. Uh, my camera screwed up completely here, so I'm just going to have to fix this. Grab this bit again. So basically, th this bit at the end of your camera controls where the actual view is, and this, the actual camera controls the angle. So I think I've done it right there. So I'm gonna set keyframe there, and basically it's gonna it is screwed up. That's what it is. If we delete that, right? So my camera again. This is why intros take so long, guys. Cause you get screwed up stuff like this. All right. So now it should. Why is it flipping like a fucking retard? Oh. Right, move it in. Right, we're just gonna do this. We're just gonna do that, okay? So you got it frozen again. Sorry about this, guys. Once again. So you got it like, got it like here, and then it's just gonna go up and then out, and then you've got a good view on it. So I'll just preview this. Actually, not that. To preview, you want to click on this screen here. This this gives you your camera view. So there you go. You got a nice shadow and everything. And then to render it, you want to go into render setup. Um, 
HD is probably best. It's 128 by 720. You want um, go on range and put zero to whatever frame you did it to, and then you want to click on files down here and render output. Um, I'm going to make a new folder and call it um, 3D tutorial. You want to uh, save it something and you'll save it as a PNG file. Save, OK, and then render as. OK, guys, so I will see you in three minutes' time when this is done rendering.